Hey guys, welcome back to another stockpile series video. So I'm showing you guys my neglected stockpile. Yes, this is real. It really got this bad. I told you I had a very, very full stockpile. About three to four years ago, I had a ton of stuff. At least maybe four to five of these shelves full. Plus, you know, different things in different areas. Um, but since then, we had a big move for Christmas, I believe the year before last, each one of our family members got one of the Dollar Tree laundry baskets full of stuff. I'm talking laundry detergent, um, paper towels, deodorant, toothbrush, brushes, toothpaste, everything. So that really depleted our stockpile. Plus I kind of stopped couponing for a while. So now I thought now as we are building our food emergency food supply prep area, this would be a great time to go ahead and work on this neglected stockpile. You guys, I just wanted to take everything off and just basically start all the way over. I don't know if you've noticed, but I put my paper products on the very top. You want to do that just in case anything leaks or spills or you have a flood all of your papers are not destroyed. Now this is absolutely the worst kind of shelf in my opinion to have for something like this because those little grids make it almost impossible for certain stuff to stand on it. So I am just going to recycle <laughs> some envelopes and newspapers and everything else that I had that I can put my pretty little hands on to make it the, the way that I wanted it. A flat surface, did I say wanted it? Yeah, wanted it. Okay, a flat surface that I can lay everything on, basically. So I'm going through, I'm organizing um, each shelf. I was trying to decide what was gonna go on each shelf, basically. And this shelf is gonna be body washes, um, shampoo, stuff like that. But before anything gets back on the shelf, it's getting a good wipe down with some bleach and water, just to make sure. I had like two different soaps that kind of burst, so I wanted to make sure those were cleaned up. Another thing I do is I try to organize my rows by male and female hygiene products so that way I will know at a glance how many of one thing that I have and how many that Jeremy has. So you guys, bottles like this are the worst. They're rounded at the bottom and the top and I had absolutely no way of stacking this so I'm just going to get a basket for all of the really weird stuff that I can't really sit flat or lay flat. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a basket. But I was saying, um, all of the male stuff and all of the female stuff, I can really tell at a glance how much I have. So that way, if I see some really good coupons or a good sale, I will know whether it's worth it for me to grab it or not. So also during the time that I was doing this, I was trying to go through products and the ones that I knew for a fact I was not going to use, I pulled out because basically that space was prime real estate and I absolutely needed it. So I'm going to look up some creative things that I can do either with shampoo or conditioner. I know one thing is to make hand soap, so I'll be doing that with some of my shampoo. So I was done basically with everything and I still had this little space left over. So I left it as is until I could figure out what I could place there. I found the shower gel, not the shower gels, the shaving gels and cream. So I decided to place that, but it was only one row and I still have a little space left over. So you'll kind of see me put different things there until I find the, the perfect little fit of what works there. Now on this bottom shelf was all of my cleaning agents and all of that. And like I said, I have really gone through this. I've been using them like crazy right now during this time. Um, so I do need to stock up on some more cleaning like products and all of that. But at least this gives me an idea of what exactly I need. Also, I don't know about you all, but I am still having issues finding Lysol. You guys, I go to the store maybe two, three times a week and I still can't find any. I went to my local Target and they told me that they get trucks every day, but they never know what's on it. And for the past like week, Lysol has not been on it. So I'm still searching for some. If you guys have found some, please tell me down below in the comments section what store you found it at. 
Okay guys, so with the space that I had left over beside my paper products, I decided that would be a really good fit for all of my toothpaste. Now all of my toothpaste would not fit um, in this area. However, I was able to get a large portion of them up here. And one more thing, this shelf is not against the wall. I kind of wanted it out of the way and our sprinkler system is kind of in the way. Plus Jeremy's organ petals are back there. So hindsight 2020, I would have found a better place for this um, shelf but listen it's just gonna have to do right now so on the bottom row I wanted to put all of my laundry goods and detergents and all of that but I wanted to organize them so I can really see what I have and honestly I can tell you I've never been down to just two fabric softeners like in my stockpile now we do have some in the house but I still haven't been down to just two in the stockpile so I feel like I really need a coupon for some things. Now this is a little drawer that I keep beside my stockpile. And as you see, you guys, I move stuff back and forth all the time. I had two little packs of pads, but I was like, instead of using that space, let me put them in the drawers with the like panty liners and see if I can condense that and use that space for something else. Same thing with this mouthwash. I only had one, so I just stuck it in the drawer with the toothpaste and then I move the bars of soap over just to make things a little more organized. Okay, you guys, so I am finally done. Let me give you just a quick little walkthrough here. So of course up here, I have my paper goods. I got some paper towels, got some bathroom tissue. Now I'm also stocked in the house. I'll show you that once I get inside, but these two are up here. Now I have one more of those paper towels. I just can't stack them because that's the garage door rail in right there. So I'm not for sure. I think I may put them like right there on top of this, but I don't know. So anyway, that's the top shelf. Of course, I wanted to put my paper on top. So just in case something spilled or got wet or whatever, my paper would not be messed up. So over here on this side, we have toothpaste. And toothpaste is probably one of the things I have most of, this is all toothpaste. I couldn't stack it near the back because you see I don't have this pushed up against the wall and it'll fall back. So have it right there, but this is all toothpaste. This is gonna take care of us for a while. We each are using a tube, a toothpaste in our restrooms. Plus we have like two or three backup in the restroom. So this is just extra. Also, you guys, I pulled all of this stuff out. I was like, this is stuff we're just never gonna use. So I'm going to text a couple of my friends to see if they need some. This is just extra toothpaste and shampoo and yeah, whatever. So next on this row, we have body wash and shampoo, um, shaving gel and soap. I don't have a ton of this stuff. Like these, let's see, these three rolls right here are all body wash. So this row is all men's. And then I have one more man right here cause I found it last minute. And the rest is just all women's body wash. So we're stocked up at least um, five, six months max. I mean, not max, but minimum. So we're good on this. Shampoo and conditioner are these four rows right here. I have way more conditioner than shampoo. I don't really shampoo my hair a whole lot. I mainly condition it because shampoo strips your hair but um so I do have these four rows I need to go back through here and pull some more out but I don't just like to give people like one part like I hate to just give them conditioner and not the shampoo to match and for the majority of this I don't have the shampoo that matches so I don't know some of the um stuff that I know I'm not going to use like this I may just pull it out and make a hand soap with it put in um, a little bit of alcohol, some water, and just make a soap out of it because I'm not going to use that on my hair. 
Um, also, we have shaving gels and it does kind of go all the way back here. And I have men's and women's, but we don't have a ton. Then I just have some bar soap right here on the edge. And I only have three different packs, a two pack, a three pack, and a six pack, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, six pack, no, a seven pack. Okay, so yeah, we do have some bars of soap there. Should we ever need it? We got those. I probably should stock up on some more though. The next aisle is just cleaning. This is probably one of my favorites. And we just have little odds and ends. I don't have a ton of any one thing. Like I'm not gonna have rolls where everything is just matched perfectly because I just don't have a ton of stuff like that. And everything I have is mainly just kind of Mitch Max. So we have Ajax, Mr. Clean, Pine Sol, Cleaning with Bleach. We have some disinfectant wipes back there. One can of Lysol. Y'all, I have to find some Lysol so bad. Now I do have way more dish detergent than this. So I have like five under the counter of a sink, but I'll probably leave it there because I really don't have space for it. We have some Febreze back there. This is the big dish detergent that I got at Sam's, the sanitizer at Sam's. So yeah, that's that. Then I also have a little bit of cleaning down here. I have some floor, clean, some floor cleaner and some ammonia. And then the rest of this is just laundry. And I only have one little sad stack of um, Gain Fireworks, dryer sheets, and then the rest are just pods, fabric softener, and it's one big jug of detergent back there. You can barely kind of see it, but that's on the bottom. Okay guys, now over here, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's just kind of here for right now. So on top, I have some tire wet gel that I got penny shopping at Dollar General, I believe. So picked up those, those four bottles were four cents all together. This is going to be some deodorant. I think it's gonna be deodorant and chapsticks because I have quite a few like chapsticks, Carmex and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna bring them out here. This drawer is gonna be all feminine stuff. We have like the little Summer Eves wipes. Okay, yeah, so we have the Summer Eves wipes, some thick pads, I don't really use that much. Some Always pads, that's just kinda the vibe in here. It's some tampons in the back too. Then this is going to be lotion and tooth, um, brushes, toothpaste, and we have one little sad thing of uh, mouthwash. You guys, we used to have so much stuff. It's kind of sad to look at it now. We are out of almost everything. Oh my goodness. This is just a thing of razors. I can probably pull some of these out too because I'm not going to use all these. And what is this? That's just my little smell good drawer. So which is so funny i haven't been in this drawer in so long i forgot some of this stuff well all of this stuff was down here so i'm about to go through it and bring some of this in the house and actually start using it so you guys i still have so much stuff that i need to find a home for that's either boxed up or whatever i just have a lot of stuff kind of but not as much stuff as i once did i have never been down to just one mouthwash like i don't even know what to what to say or think about that so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is the after picture of our stockpile i thought i was gonna have room to put some food type stuff out here like ramen noodles stuff like that but i don't really have room for it right now so i'm gonna have to come up with another plan of how to store that any okay you guys you do y'all see how hot i am i have worked my little behind off i am tied up my hair everything i hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely give this video a huge like hit that subscribe button we will see you in the next video i think the next stockpiling video i will do would be what to actually stock up on for your first week of stockpiling so wait for that one and yeah comment down below tell me how you like this video Tell me if there are some things you think I should be stocking up on that I don't have here. Um, and also tell me what are you stocking up on or are you stocking up? I feel like all of those are just pertinent questions. So anyway, comment down below. I will see you guys in the comment section and I will see y'all in the next video. I'm about to go take a shower. Bye guys. <laughs>